No, look at this. Now, look at this. This was the loss right there. That was my biggest loss. $83,000, dude. I lost 83 grand. 83 grand, guys. In the previous video, we covered five reasons why you should pick up trading as a side hustle. And in this video, we will cover why you shouldn't. Everything has pros and cons. So today, I will give you five solid reasons why you should not become a Forex trader. This is not to discourage you in any way, but to encourage you to have some self-awareness before committing yourself to join the Forex markets and trading as a side hustle. My trading plan wasn't really more about the technicals, guys. It was more about the psychology and the emotional part about it. You know, I controlled who I am on the inside. I had to develop, I had to become somebody else. Top of my list is emotional awareness. Lack of emotional awareness leads to problems such as overtrading, revenge trading, over leveraging, and other negative contributors that lead to extreme frustrations for most forex traders. In my experience, forex trading requires a high level of self-awareness which comes with one understanding of their entire being, and that includes their emotions, which is something that most people lack. If you are one of the people who can't control their emotions, I would recommend you not to pick up trading as a hobby or anything because that is the easiest way to ruin your life. Until you work on yourself as a person, trading can be challenging because you always have to show zero emotions when in the charts. Emotions mastery is a life skill every trader needs. Whether it is euphoria from winning a big trade or depression from losing a big trade, your emotions must always stay at zero. Trading exposes you to things about yourself that you never knew. You may think you are a patient person, a calm person, a less emotional person until you start trading and realize it's not what you thought. A little positive thing is, you get to learn so much about yourself while at it, and you get challenged to work on yourself for the best. Only that you will do so as you lose money. Geek, bro. Like, this is not a joke, man. Like, look at me, look at my face. Like, this is not a joke. I really went through a crazy time where I was just blowing all my fucking money. I was literally blowing it. You know what I mean? Like, bro, like, look at this nasty losing streak, guys. I'm telling you, I, w I literally, I literally said, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going to close. I'm not. And I, bro, look at this. 50 grand here, 28,000, 20,000. And as you guys can see, it keeps going. Like, look at that. I'm trading pairs I've never even traded. Look at them fucking trading. Odd CAD. Odd CAD. Like, dude, at that moment, like, I had no trading plan. I didn't have anything. I literally said, fuck everything. I was in the worst moment of my life. And then I just, I forgot about everything. I forgot about who I was. Number two on the list is high risk. It goes without saying how risky the Forex markets are and the fact that they allow much higher leverage than other markets that is equities markets, meaning a highly leveraged trader can lose all of their capital by small fluctuations in currency prices. Most traders find it easy to imagine how much income they would make in hindsight. They mostly focus on ROI without realizing that execution is a different thing. This leads to lack of proper risk management, poor position sizing, and lack of patience which leads to overtrading. In highly risky conditions, and with the urge to make the most money in the shortest time, they start to take poor positions, which is a form of emotional trading since money is the motivation, which takes us back to point number one, lack of self-awareness. Everything in trading narrows down to our emotions. Executing big trades in a highly risky market takes time and requires a lot of patience, a lot of experience, and a lot of chart work to take the right trade. Now, boom, look at that. Can you see this, bro? Look at this. Like, bro, 40,000 profit, 24,000, 30,000, 30,000, 43,000, 65,000, 19,000, 23,000. Break even 700 bucks. Look at my losses, how small they are now. Look how, low, look how look small my losses are, dude. Look how small my losses are, bro. But look at that win streak, bro. The discipline is insane. Number three is lack of capital. As with every business, trading requires starting capital. I know in the previous video I mentioned how easy it is due to the introduction of online proprietary firms in the industry in recent times. However, as a funded prop trader myself, I can assure you one thing, getting to become a funded trader isn't the easiest journey. It costs money, blood and sweat. 
Maintaining those accounts is even harder than the evaluation process, but we shall discuss prop firm trading in depth and in a different video. Most traders come into the forex markets with hopes to turn $100 to $1 million in the shortest time possible because they see Instagram influencers flipping accounts and think it is easy, which becomes impossible when you try it because you must gain the skill, experience, and also have enough capital to convert healthy percentages into real-life profits. It is possible to turn $100 into $1 million, sure, but it takes a long time. So, to be able to live off your trading income alone, you need to have a higher startup capital which most people lack. So if you are looking at joining the Forex markets to make millions off $100, I would recommend you to try another time, get a job, Save up and try it when you are comfortable and as a side hustle. What you see on the internet isn't always what you get. Number four is the fake mentors and scammers. There are no real experts, mentors, or portfolio advisors to rely on. Forex traders have to learn the ropes on their own, which makes it hard for any novice trader because most end up falling for baits on Instagram and YouTube, studying the wrong content, paying for signals they never make money from, getting the wrong advice with no one being held accountable, and much more that happens in this industry. This is a huge challenge for anyone looking at getting into the forex markets as a side hustle because instead of making money, you may end up losing most of your capital and eventually giving up on the whole idea. The industry misrepresentation that happens in today's world in the industry is a huge negative factor for any beginner because the expectations are way too high and most only end up disappointed. Many forex mentors or course sellers, if we may call them so, do this to have another stream of income. Low transparency and lack of regulation should be a point on their own, but this has encouraged industry players to sell the wrong image to non-traders, going to the extent of faking P and dolls. It is hard to tell real and fake, which makes it easy for new traders to fall victim to their ways. But know that when you come across money, it takes away the anxiety that people had in the past. About Last on today's list is time. The process of becoming a forex trader requires you to put in so much time and effort. If you are working an intensive 9 to 5, taking up trading as a side hustle may not be the perfect thing for you. Because in the beginning, you have to put in a lot of chart work, watch 1000 plus hours of YouTube and course content, watch the market in real life forward test, and back test endless hours to attain chart mastery. It requires a lot of consistency when studying the charts to get a hang of it, and if your day job is so time-consuming, it would take you so long to achieve the professional trader title and I, therefore, would recommend you to find something different to do. Dear traders and aspiring traders, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you learned a bit more about Forex trading, Forex markets, and from a trader's perspective. This is Top Trading World. I will see you on the next one. Take care, manage risk, and have a better trading life.